Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about making safe choices over resonant ones. Making safe or attractive choices used to be my MO. I created a financially stable life for myself by choosing a good paying career and a husband who was a good provider. And I would make pros and cons lists whenever I had to make a major decision. I would always lean more towards the choice that would offer the most security rather than choosing what really fired me up. What fired me up scared me. I lived in fear and I was anxious and depressed all the time. And if you come to see me regularly for Heilkin's treatment, then you've probably heard me talk about contractive versus expansive relationships. But if you haven't, very simply put, a contractive relationship is one in which you have to hide parts of yourself or make yourself less of who you are in order to be or fit in the relationship. On the other hand, expansive relationships inspire you to be more of who you are. Don't get me wrong, expansive relationships aren't all sunshine and roses, but they push you to expand yourself in ways that you wouldn't necessarily do on your own. They help you to further the evolution of your consciousness, basically. Very often, relationships will have both expansive and contractive aspects. However, overall, healthy resonant relationships are going to be expansive in nature. Recently, I watched a movie on Netflix called Far From The Madding Crowd, and it's an excellent movie, and it actually inspired me to do this video. It was such a beautiful illustration of the damage that you can do when you choose attraction over resonance. Choosing attraction can be so much more exciting, which you'll see in the movie. Um, it isn't always easy to choose what will nourish us on a deeper soul level, especially when our diseases are blocking us. So things like chronic miasms, phenotypes, timeline events, um, these will all affect our choices in life. For example, when a person is operating out of attraction, a chocolate cake or a pizza can be so much more exciting than choosing a plate stay full of vegetables and grilled chicken. However, it isn't only illustrated in our food choices, it's reflected in absolutely every aspect of our life. So, you know, the movies we watch, the music we listen to, the books we read, our leisure activities, the work we do, the relationships we choose, all of these things affect our overall health and well-being the same way food will. So if you're eating healthy foods, but you're spending time with people who don't accept you for who you really are, and you hide parts of yourself, then that can be as damaging to your health as eating unhealthy foods can be. Likewise, if you're watching the news all the time or shows like The Walking Dead, you're taking in so much unnecessary negativity and you'll start to become fearful and you'll never want to leave your house. <laughs> So attractive choices aren't always the exciting ones either. They can be choices that offer a sense of security or safety, like I talked about before, but then cause us to limit ourselves in some way. For example, staying in a job that you hate because of the large paycheck or the benefits, which I see all the time. Likewise, staying in a contractive marriage because of the financial security it offers or making choices based on what society deems as a good or appropriate choice, whether it works for you or not. Once I started Halkin's treatment and began to remove the diseases that were keeping me stuck in a life that I found completely stifling, I began to realize how important it was to choose resonance over attraction or safety and security. If you want your life to truly blossom, you have to follow your heart and take those chances. Then your life will become truly beautiful, joyful, and inspiring. Making resonant choices in all aspects of our life can be difficult, but not impossible. And for those of you doing Holocaust treatment, it's a lot easier because it helps to remove the disease blockages that are keeping you from having a resonant life. And bit by bit, attraction and contraction will fall away and you'll begin to expand into a beautiful resonant life. Additionally, a wonderful book that can give you tools to help develop more resonant relationships is called Conscious Loving by Gay and Katie Hendricks, and it's an awesome book. Um, and why not tonight try watching Far From the Madding Crowd and get a real impression of attraction versus resonance and how that can affect your life. And then take a look at what you're taking in, in absolutely all aspects of your life, and where can you start to make more resonant choices. And let me know how you go. I'll talk to you soon.